Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to look at how Oz Unity went for the February Clan War League. Um, they had two clans running. They had one clan running a 30 team and they had another clan running a 15 team. So we're going to take a look at our main clan which was the 15 in Champion League 1 and how we went. Um, it's not quite over, it looks like we're going to end up about 3rd or 4th, so we won't get demoted there. Um, we're going to take a look at a couple of attacks right now. So the first attack we're going to look at, um, I would call it, I don't know, it looks like a, a plane base. Um, we've got Town Hall up one end, with the Monolith up the other, um, Arthur is running it looks like a, a Root Rider smash with Valks. Um, I've seen this attack, it's very interesting and it's really good to watch. So let's see how he goes about this. So he's just uh, setting up the funnel for these Root Riders. Uh, as they come in, it looks like he's just going to lay them all out. Uh, he's got the, the uh, log launcher smashing all these walls, including the clan castle troops. And it looks like, yeah, the miners, the super miners in the, in the clan castle, which is interesting. Um, this attack is already looking very really good. He's got most of the root riders um, going towards the left hand side of the base. And he's got the queen cleaning up some of these defenses on the right hand side along with the poison towers. So the queen will take out the scatter shots, super archer tower. So you can reach the yep, it'll reach the bomb tower. And the rest of these root riders coming around the outside. Um, they're going to take care of the left hand side and he's got the king ability and the champion ability left to use so you know a new, a new attack strategy there that's that's very very effective the second attack we're going to look at is a box base um, it's got predominantly uh, heavy hitting defenses in the middle. It's got two scatter shots, two poison towers, the monolith eagle, two super archer towers as well. Um, and the army comp he's going with is 21 bar super barbarians. And it looks like he's going to go with the blimp attack at the start. So let's see how Bloodlust uh, gets this done. It looks like he's going to start with the group down the bottom and it looks like he's targeting the eagle. And I would say he probably could have held off a little bit with that blimp. Got over the other side of the wall and wonder if he's going to get the town hall. I'd say he wanted to get the town hall. Oh, he's got the poison tower down. He's almost got that super super archer tower down. He's just not going to get that super archer tower. But you got the eagle, um, all the expos just about, and this is already looking. So you start with the heroes down the bottom. In front is the Ice Golem, that's going to uh, help tank for the main army. And these Super Barbarians are just really good to use on the outside, but there's a lot of buildings uh, on the outside, up protecting the walls. Um, and as you can see, the, the Root Riders are already going towards the wall, so this is 
This is starting to look really, really good. So he's going to have to use the ability, which he does. He's using the heal time and the eternal time. Which is a good choice without the healers. And it looks like the champion is going to try and clean up the right hand side. The defense is here. Yeah, he's putting some super barbarians down uh, as the champion cleans these defenses. And this is looking very, very good now. Still have two super barbarians, four archer, archers, queen ability still to go, and two headhunters. And this base is flushed. Great attack and blood lust. So the third attack we're going to look at is a box base uh, with a lot of heavy hitting defenses in the middle. He's got the Eagle, he's got a Poison Tower, two Infernos, a Monolith, Defending CC, and two Bomb Towers in there as well, one of them maxed. Um, and what he's going to be using is, it looks like a Root Rider Witch uh, combination. Um, and what you can see with all these army compositions on the screen is, they're using uh, the Warden Apprentice, uh, or at least one Warden Apprentice, along just to help um, help the hit points on some of these troops. So let's see how he goes about um, hitting this base. So he's dropped a, a scary spell on the single, but unfortunately that's locked on to the king. And going to have to do the ability early on it, and the king goes down, unfortunately. But with the phoenix, it's uh, got 10 seconds of life. He's dropped all the root riders and witches uh, on the top side. Looks like they've got three ice golems in the CC. You'll have to use the ability soon, I'd say, which he does. And he's probably going to get protected from Poison Bomb as well. One more defending ice goal in there. And with the, the extra witch level you get at Cowboy 16, and it's a. Yeah, it's just overpowered. There's Root Riders coming around the. coming around the clear these defenses and tank and the Queen and these witches. Still got a Pekka coming around the side here. The Queen ability is still to go. Which I'd say we'll use it pretty shortly. If he needs to. Which it doesn't look like he's going to use it. So this base is flushed. Nice attack, Vinny. So the fourth attack we're going to look at, I watched this live, um, it was an absolutely amazing attack. Um, so we've got a diamond base here with the town hall uh, kind of isolated to be honest. It's got an Invis tower, it's got the monolith, uh, two singles, um, and it's got the eagle and monolith at opposite ends of the base, the same with the scatter shots as well. Um, so as I said, I've watched this. I watched this live, and it was absolutely amazing. So I had to share it. Probably my favourite attack from Clanball League. So he's probably lucky. He just got 
that scatter shot before the builder started repairing it. Um, but nonetheless, it went down, which, which worked out perfectly for Dom. And the first thing you always do is you obviously quake and, quake and zap, and then you drop uh, the flame flinger. The flame flinger. And that's just going to continue for a long time. And he's creating a funnel here on both sides. He's got the archers uh, on the right hand side just picking off some of these buildings. down to take some of these defenses at the, at the back end here and the queen taking care of some of these defenses and buildings on the right hand side. Ice Golem down along with the skelly spell to distract the, the defending king. And I think Dom's goal here is to get the king going towards these super cannons and eagle. It's all timing with the, the Zap Lalo attacks. And it looks like the Queen is going to take out the scatter shot, which is what he was looking for along with the defending CC. And he gives the Lalo. Dropping moons, warden, uh, bottom left hand side. Perfect freeze. Perfect rage. Perfect ward ability just to push those loons, take out the town ball and get them get them through that poison before they start getting uh, take it down. But there's only three defenses left, two single target infernos, and they're about to go down. And he has Plenty of troops around the outside uh, to take care of all those unintended buildings. Definitely my favourite attack from this clan war league in both teams. Um, so great attack, Dom. Our fifth and final attack, um, we're going to take a look at Jono taking on their number 14. Um, it looks like a, I would say, a diamondish box base. Um, we've got Town Hall up one end with the Eagle up the other, Monolith centralised um, with a lot of builder huts around that Monolith and Town Hall, uh, which will take a fair bit to get down. So let's uh, take a look to see what Jono... And it looks like Jono's taking the, the Root Rider uh, smash again. And I would say he's going to be doing a blimp bomb as well. So let's uh, get into this. So Jono just taking care of the defense with a couple of super barbarians. Perfect distraction there with the balloons. Making sure the sweep and mist blimp. And he's pushing. To the right, he's cloning to the right um, to try and get some of these defenses. He's going to get the town hall, and I'd say he's going to get the monolith, which he does get it, and that's just clear a massive part. One of the ice golems is down. He's just luring the ice golems away from the main. Attack. And these two, the Tesla and the Super Archer Tower is going to create a bit of a problem, just a slight problem, which is taken care of early. And these Root Riders are going to funnel around the base. Uh, 
Uh, Rage Tail down, perfect ward ability uh, to make sure none of these Root Riders uh, get taken out of the raid and scatter shot combo. Scatter shots down, and there's not much left to defend this place. That Grand Castle is still standing there. attack Jono. So the end of this Clan War League, Oz Unity Avengers will stay in Champion League 1. Um, our other Oz Unity Clan will be promoted to Masters 1. Thank you for watching. Please sub, like the video, comment, share it. Um, that'll be awesome. Thanks.